We will be welcome to another tutorial by VideoX. In this tutorial, we will be creating a graph using discrete data, continuous data, and we will also look at other charting options available in Excel. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, so in this example, we're going to go ahead and create a chart for discrete and categorical data. We've got the names and the sales amount. So all we have to do to create a chart, a simple chart is uh, highlight the selected information and then go ahead and click on recommended charts. This option will give you the best charting option. In this case, a clustered column is good. So we'll go ahead and click on OK. And there we go, we have our chart. Now you can always go up here and then choose the, um, the style for your chart, but that's not exactly what we're gonna get into today. So uh, now that we've created the chart for discrete data, let's see how we're gonna go ahead and create a chart for continuous data. Now, um, we don't have any data for sales, so let's go ahead and create some. So in here, we are just going to go ahead and enter, um, say that the sale is our random number between uh, 55 and 99. So we'll just go ahead and paste that in here. And I'm going to copy and then just paste those as values so that they don't change. Okay, so um, the same technique that we used for the other example, we'll go ahead and select the data that we want to chart and then go to insert and recommend the chart. You'll see that the difference here is that Excel is now recommending a line chart as opposed to a column chart uh, because it thinks that this type of representation of the data is best for the selected information. Now, I can go ahead and choose a bar chart if I, if I need to. Um, but in this case, I'll just leave it to a line chart, click on OK, and uh, there we go. We have our sales chart. Chart. Now, there are many charting options in Excel. The one that I'm just going to show you is a tree map. Now, I, I could go ahead and click on recommended charts. Now, these are the recommendations. If I don't like the recommendations, I can always go up to all charts right up here. And then from here, I can select the type of chart that I need. Now, in this example, we're gonna go ahead and select a tree map, click on OK, and there we go. We have our chart. Again, with the styling options, you can go ahead and select the type of style that you need for your chart. And if you wanna change the chart type, all you have to do is just click this button right here, and then you can select, and you can select a different chart that fits your data the best. Well, there you have it. This is how you create a chart in Excel 2017. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comment section. And uh, if you like the videos, do not forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you, and we'll be back with another great tutorial.